Hi, this is Meir, your friend. I'm so excited because it is the first time since COVID that I'm going to teach a workshop in person. Again, I regret the fact that I cannot do it in my own place because of uh, problems with a contractor and <laughs> fixing the water damage that we have. I really hope that things will get better soon. Uh, and it looks like they will. However, I'm so happy that I'm teaching a workshop because I feel like I was born to do it. And I want to share with you one of the things that I'm always teaching. And this is the division of muscle groups. Everything in the body connects to everything else. Many people think, okay, I have an injury in my neck that doesn't connect to anything else. No, it always does. Everything in the body connects to everything else. So if you have a stiff ankle, it can definitely affect your neck. If you have a rigid neck, it can definitely affect your pelvis. And so it's so important to work on every joint we can work, on every muscle we can work, tune to them, sense when they become a bit stiffer, loosen them up. An exercise that I love to teach people is the exact opposite of what they always do. They lie on their stomach. And in fact, maybe you should do that. Take a yoga mat, stop the program, take a yoga mat or um, a blanket. As you see, I'm already wanting to teach. Lie on your stomach, breathe deeply, and feel the connection between the abdomen and the blanket or the abdomen and the floor. The important thing of feeling that connection is that in many ways, through the abdomen, we connect to the center of the earth. You feel the length of the legs. Like, what is the length of the legs uh, in your mind or in your feeling between the hips and the feet? Now, bend the right knee and move your leg in rotating motion. Then move your foot in rotating motion and have a sense of how the foot is colliding against the air. Move it in rotating motion to the right, in rotating motion to the left. And you can always stop the program to just do it and sense how you do it. Then move the leg in rotating motion and think as if the foot is doing the work. After doing it, put the leg down and you can see that the right leg now is way longer than the left leg. That's what happened to 85% of the people who do it because what we're doing now by using our hamstrings, we're stretching the quadriceps, which is in the front of the thigh and that elongates the muscles. Now stand on all fours hands and knees, and lift the right leg up as, as, as high as you can lift it, it with the foot pointing towards the ceiling. Stay there for 10 breaths. As you lift the leg up with as much vigor as you can, it strengthens the buttock muscles and the leg very much. And now... Put the leg down, lie on your stomach, and now lift the leg up, all the way up. And what I mean here now, the whole hip, the thigh, and the leg. Up, up, up. Now, bend your knee again and move it in rotating motion. And you can feel now when you did it, how easier it is to do it. After doing it for a few rotations, Put the leg down, you can see there's a greater disparity between them. So do exactly the same thing with the left leg. You bend your knee, and now you can change direction. You can move your foot in rotating motion, feeling that the air collides against the foot. And you do it slowly while breathing deeply. Now you move the knee in rotating motion or the leg in rotating motion while bending the knee. And 
now after doing it for several movement to each directions stand on all fourth and lift the leg up for 10 deep breath feeling how it activates your buttocks and your leg and breathe deeply and slowly and then and by the way you can always stop the program or run it backwards to continue the exercise but then line your stomach and you can feel now the leg got the left leg got longer than the right so now bend both knees and move the legs in rotating motion and you can feel when you finish doing it and do it for a while when you put the legs down that basically you stretch your abdomen one big statement that I want to make and I'm not original in that by no means function affects structure and you could see with this exercise how the structure of the thighs have changed the same thing is true about your eyes looking a lot of the distance can take away the strain of looking so much from near and all of us look way too much from near learning to adapt to the sun strengthen the eyes while escaping the sun weakens the pupils and the retina and we should really understand that old concept have to give way to new reality and that's what i work for and so for that reason i'm happy that i'm going to have a class to teach for a day and a half in jacksonville Oregon. I'm happy that I have a wonderful Feldenkrais practitioner, Gabriel, who is going to organize this class and that I'm going to have my partner, Jean, to help me and assist me in the class. And most of our work will be outdoors and we're going to work a lot on consciousness and awareness. So we will have a key to work on ourselves for many years to come and get better. In the future, I can't wait for my place to have all the necessary repair and remodeling done so we can function again as a good school. Talk to you soon, Mayor.